1926, Alan May created Winnie the Pooh for his son, Christopher. He invented a bear named Winnie the Pooh, who in real life was a stuffed bear that his son had. Using this plush bear as the main character, Alan May told his son Christopher stories about the wonderful fantasy world of Pooh and his friends. After captivating the attention of the world, Winnie the Pooh and his friends Kangaroo, Ruth, and Gore, the mischievous tiger, rabbit, owl, and his inseparable companion Piglet, were brought to the big screen by Walt Disney in the first chapter of their tales. Adam May offered an explanation as to why Winnie the Pooh is often simply called Pooh in that book. It reads, But his arms were so stiff from holding onto the balloon string all that time that they stayed up straight in the air for more than a week. And whenever a fly came and settled on his nose, he had to blow it off. And I think, but I am not sure, that that is why he is always called Pooh. However, it took over 70 years for a thorough study to shed light on the personalities of these characters. A group of four pediatricians and a specialized nurse from a health center in Canada published a study in the Canadian Medical Association Journal in 2000. They titled the study, Pathology in the Hundred Acre Wood, A Neurodevelopmental Perspective. It is unknown whether Alan Alexander May intentionally gave each character a mental-related characteristic. But the researchers of the study examined each character and discovered the mental disorders they exhibit based on their behavior throughout the story. The question then arises, what is the mental disorder of each Winnie the Pooh character, the pediatricians, Sarasha Kevin Gordon, Hopkins Janet Coaching, and the pediatric nurse Don Smith provided a mental disorder diagnosis for each character and explained the reasons behind them. According to the doctors, Winnie the Pooh has ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. His primary disorder is ADHD, specifically the inattentive subtype. Individuals with this disorder have difficulty organizing tasks, finishing tasks, and paying attention to details. Pooh is also forgetful. Additionally, the researchers note that he displays symptoms of OCD, such as repetitive actions and an obsession with honey. With proper attention and assistance, Pooh could be more functional, in better shape, and possibly produce more poems, according to the study. Piglet exhibits symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder. He is anxious, easily startled by noises, and nervous. Piglet suffers from excessive worry and finds solace only in things that make him feel calm. The study suggests that if he had been properly evaluated and diagnosed when he was young, he could have been prescribed an anti-panic agent like paroxetine, which could have saved him from various emotional traumas, such as his attempt to catch heffalumps, which only exist in his dreams. Owl has dyslexia, a learning disorder that affects reading ability. This disorder affects the language processing areas of the brain. Owl's attempts to hide his phonological deficits are similar to what we see in others with dyslexia on a daily basis, according to the study. Sometimes dyslexia goes undiagnosed for years and remains unidentified until adulthood, but it is never too late to seek help. Tigger has ADHD, specifically the hyperactive impulsive subtype. Like Pooh, he has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, but his subtype is characterized by hyperactivity and impulsivity. Tigger is unable to stay still and often makes impulsive decisions. Although he is sociable and affectionate, he displays a recurrent pattern of risky behaviors, such as climbing high trees and acting in a socially intrusive manner. Individuals with this disorder have difficulty staying seated for long periods, frequently interrupt others, grab things that don't belong to them, or speak at inappropriate times. Rabbit has narcissistic personality disorder. The study highlights Rabbit's tendency to make himself appear important and to associate with powerful friends, which demonstrates his narcissism. He seems to have an overwhelming need to organize others, often against their will, in new groups where he always remains at the top of the reporting structure. Rabbit also exhibits symptoms of OCD, becoming nervous when his world is not perfect, and experiencing distress whenever any kind of disruption occurs in his organized life. Rue has autism. He often ignores what is happening around him, getting himself into trouble. In many cases, he fails to pay attention to his surroundings, leading to problems. His mother, Kanga, has social anxiety disorder as she constantly carries Rue in her pouch due to her belief that he has autism. 
This constant worry about her son causes her anxiety as a single mother, constantly concerned about how he will survive. Eeyore suffers from depression and is perhaps the saddest character of them all. Although there isn't enough story to diagnose him with inherited or endogenous depression, or to determine if any initial trauma contributed to his chronic negativity and low energy, specialists believe he best represents depression. Lastly, Christopher Robin, the human child, probably has schizophrenia, as it is easy to understand that everything happening in the Hundred Acre Wood is a product of his imagination. Although the study on the mental disorders of Winnie the Pooh was intended as a scientific endeavor, it has had an impact in real life raising awareness about mental health. Some psychology textbooks have cited this article, and it has been useful for several pediatric clinics to use these examples and compare them with friendly characters. Ultimately, with this study, Winnie the Pooh has become a beloved series for many generations and a way to raise awareness about common mental disorders. And what do you think? Will this study be as accurate as what it claims in this video? Hope you liked the video. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie.